Moving on to the other big story we've been tracking over the past week. It's been six days since radical preacher Amritpal's mob ran riot in Ajnala in Amritsar. The police station was taken captive by the mob demanding release of his aide Lakhpreet Tufan. A day later, the police succumbed and released the aide due to, quote, lack of evidence. Punjab police had claimed that since the attackers used Guru Granth Sahib as a shield, they didn't use the kind of force they otherwise would have. This after the state police came under severe criticism for allowing Amritpal and goons to run riot. Later, Amritpal issued another warning to the police and said that if any action is taken against them, they will again stage a similar kind of protest. Amid all of this, Shirmani Akali Dal accused the Amadmi Party government of playing a fixed match. Bikram Singh Majitia of the SAD called the attack pre-planned. He said all of this is being done to create a Hindu-Sikh divide with the sole aim of polarization of votes. Vikram Singh Majithia is now joining us for an exclusive conversation. Mr. Majithia, General Secretary of the SAD is with us. You say that the police is playing a fixed match or all of this was pre-planned. The DGP says that the only reason they didn't go hard against Amritpal and his followers is because they had given a permission for a religious procession the rioters abused that uh, permission. They wanted to maintain the maryada of the Guru Granth that they were carrying and therefore handled the case with sensitivity. Why do you feel that the police's response has been lacking? You've said the DGP is going weak in his knees. Mr. Majithia. First, you have to realize one thing that I am in my lifetime or if I go back in history, even in those dark days of terrorism, mm. There's never been an incident where a police station has been taken over by people who have broken the law. Mm. It has never been the case. Now, if a news like that comes out of Kashmir, there is such a human cry. And obviously, all is not well in the state. Now, for a DGP to say that we didn't do this because there was uh, because of certain reasons. Mm. My first question, th that is why I'm saying that there is a fixed match. Now, for the last five days, he's been threatening that he is going to be going to the Jinala Thana. Where was the police? Was the DGP sleeping? Or was he, was he being held back by his uh, rulers? That uh, don't take any action. The DGP, a couple of months ago, the government comes out with a directive mm. that anybody seen with a weapon on a social media platform or anybody firing from his legal weapon in the air will be booked. Mm. People got booked. There was a little boy from my constituency again on the border in Majitha whose 10-year-old photograph was taken out and he was booked. His name is Gurnas mm. for holding a weapon and i'm going to show this photograph i don't know if you can see it it's a blurred photograph i can send you the uh color uh thing to it mm. this boy he was booked for holding this weapon now my question to the dgp is that you made a statement that if there's anybody with weapons who's showing arms they need to remove that from their social media facebook account otherwise they will be booked how is a person roaming around with weapons, hmm. semi-automatic, automatic weapons, and that also uh, a permissible uh, cartridges per, per weapon is 25? They are roaming around with 3300, 4400 cartridges with, on them, hmm. and they are talking to the SSP with guns bolted, pointed towards the, uh, the police chief of okay. the district. So isn't this stage managed? Isn't this a fixed match? And isn't this to uh, divert attention? Won't it lead to polarization? Because there, it, it, Punjab has a long history of uh, being a border state, national security issues. There, uh, the chief minister himself has admitted right. that, yes, Pakistan is fermenting trouble. And we all know that, that it's been happening for a very long time. In that sort of a situation, do you want another Hindu Sikh issue coming out of Punjab? What has happened in the last one year? No, but when you say that this was a fixed match, the police didn't do and what it needed to do, obviously your allegation is that the present day government didn't do what it needed to do. But why do you believe that there is a fixed match? Why would the government let somebody like Amritpal run riot? Shivani ji, please answer my question. If people can be booked for weapons display on a Facebook post, 
how is somebody carrying 20 weapons that also semi automatic weapons who gave him the license in the first place how is he carrying those weapons all over punjab or interstate i want an inquiry into who has issued these licenses to them and if a display of a weapon is a crime on a social media page and how a carrying of a weapon is allowed hmm. secondly you tell me one thing have you ever heard there isn't there is, isn't this a constitutional crisis that a police station gets taken away over by people who have been booked for a crime hmm. and how did this gentleman who is i again and i say it again and again he tries to copy san jarnel singh pendrawala he's not he's a duplicate he's a pass he's created and it's there are reasons there are separate reasons for it but i want to ask the police isn't this a total collapse the man traveled 60 kilometers from where he was that jallupur kheda his village hmm. to ajnala he had announced it 5 days in advance what was the police doing were they sleeping or they were they encouraging him then he there are like 15 police stations on the way okay the entire police headquarters from majithas on the way he is uh, given a free run to create this trouble so why will i say it's not a fix match but uh, a lot of people believe that the central agencies have also been caught napping or they should have swept into action there are question marks on how this man came to india only a year ago and became so popular don't you believe the central agencies and the central government needs to step in uh, shivani ji he's been propped up i disagree with the fact that he's become popular yes there is a section in punjab that feels they that they they've been feeling this for a very long time that they've been wronged and yes we feel we have been wronged on number of issues whether it's the state capital whether it is the uh, river water issues or whether it was the farm laws number of issues let that be on one side but this comes down to law and order how did he firstly a clean shaven man becomes a baptized person there are photographs of, of, of him being clean shaven living a good life enjoying pubbing partying doing everything that a baptized person should not be doing then uses the guru granth sahib maharaj you must realize one thing that shri guru granth sahib maharaj is the living guru for us and a living guru is uh, is respected and uh, revered in in with folded hands with a lot of humility mm. for two people commenting on social media it's like two kids fighting what was this entire fight about it's his person accusing him on something on social media two kids it was literally like two kids got into a fight mm. they bashed up the other fellow that guy went to the police station and got a case registered the police was registers the case because they found all the contents to be true yes they arrest certain individuals and, then and that is why again we call it a fix match okay that why if if first you investigated the matter and you found everything to be true and then you did the parcha and then suddenly you want to backtrack now the but the issue is that two little they were fighting like two little kids on comments on a social media do you use the guru saab for that you can take the blessings of guru saab that the truth may win but you are not going to take the guru granth saab maharaj and go bashing up the barricades and hitting people who are unarmed because guru saab has always preached sarbatta pala that is what has been our daily ardas yes this right. is Look, again he... the basic principles of sikhism the man does not understand sikhism okay but you keep saying that he is being propped up so who has propped him up you are not answering that question very clearly shivani ji lot of things if i say today I, you know i am already uh, the, uh, there are a lot of people gunning for me for various reasons for speaking the truth but you tell me one thing you sit back and tell answer these you'll get the answers yourself if there is polarization in punjab who will benefit you will get the answer and is 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 bhagwant man there are two things either he's dumb he's stupid he doesn't realize he's playing with fire 
and eventually all this is going to result into the same trouble days that we've experienced in the past because it will go out of hand. It's like the Osama story. First, he was, there's a talk that he was propped up and then mm. he was out of control. It's the same thing. How can a man who's not even an Indian citizen, who was not even a baptized Sikh, he was a man who used to be big time into clubbing and partying. We've seen those photographs. Today is coming here and he is being funded. The, the man had nothing. If you go back to the uh, what his family, it was few acres of land. Okay. And today he roams around in uh, cars worth one crore or two crore rupees. Where did the money come from? How is everybody turning a blind eye to it? I question all governments because it pains me. I can't have seen those dark days. And I don't want a return of those dark days because it doesn't help Punjab. You're asking all the right questions and those questions we've asked over the past week too. But you're not answering my question directly. Who do you hold responsible for this Amrit Pal suddenly taking over and running riot? The central government or the state government? The governments. I hold both governments responsible. Law and order to maintain peace, law and order is a primary responsibility of the state government. But if the state government is not doing its job, then I guess the central government is also needs to step in. But they are both, they, either they, they, are, they want the Ahmadmi party to get discredited and then control the situation, and it helps polarization, a lot of things will happen with that. So there is a lot of politics being played, but who's going to suffer? The people of Punjab. It's a border state. It is a, it's always been an issue. And every, do, you, do you realize one thing on that day, the day this incident happened, there were 45% hotel bookings cancellation. Now it affected how many lives? Already there's no industry coming in. Okay. If rule, religious tourism was doing well, you've hit that on the head. You've ensured that it goes for a toss. Okay. You, why should we suffer at the cost of someone's politics? Okay, so you're clearly saying this is someone else's politics. Who benefits if there's polarization? We we'll leave it at that. Bikram Singh Majitia, thanks a lot for joining us. These are going to be very important, tough questions for the state of Punjab ahead.